Hey everybody, welcome to part two of the leg and glute exercise where we're using the free weights as your resistance or just your own body weight. So I'm Beth Hoover and I'm excited about continuing on this part two with you because I'm already feeling my legs and I hope you are too. So let's start with our first move. We're actually gonna start with our leg diagonal back. So kind of maybe described as what's called a curtsy type position or a curtsy lunge. So go ahead and join me here. This is a real balance challenge too, just even staying in this position, making sure again that the knee stays behind the toe, definitely not forward of the toe. So you have to make sure you're dipping straight down into this curtsy, okay, straight down. Keep going, let's do um, a little bit of add on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pulse one, two, three, and then we're gonna step up. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, and then step up. Continue with the same movement. Now, if you're ready, you can actually pulse for three, and then go ahead and just tap out. So you're really keeping more tension on this left leg. Okay, looking good, I'm sure. Just make sure that knee stays behind the toe. Body stays in neutral alignment. Should be feeling that leg. Let's add on here. Okay, so what we're gonna do next after this one is we're gonna lunge back for one, and then we're gonna step up, try to kick out. Lunge back and kick out. So this is more of a continual move no pulsing. If you need to go here, this is fine. If you can go down into that full curtsy, come on down and then kick that leg out. Let's go. Really feeling it. Core stays tight. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, great job. Go ahead and march it out. Hopefully you're feeling this just like me. So let's go ahead and step back with the other leg and go down into that curtsy lunge with the opposite side. And again, if this is a little tough, just go ahead and hold here and then, you know, do a partial lunge. Doesn't have to be the full curtsy lunge. Because really even just holding in this position is difficult in the first place. A lot of balance here. Okay, let's go ahead and start with that pulsing. And then step up. and step up. Okay, now remember you can come to that full step up or you can go ahead and go straight to the toe. Just you decide based on how the opposite side felt if you want to keep more tension on this right side. Okay, who is ready to add that kick? Let's get ready. Let's do one more here, and then let's add that kick. So remember, we go back for one, up and kick. Kick. Abs are tight, keep balanced. Kick as high as you want, can be lower. Almost there. Whoop, losing my balance. Let's do five more. Always listen to your body and rest. Good job. Take a break whenever you need to and then jump back in. Okay, let's go to our final squat series. And this is going to be a plie squat. So go ahead and bring your toes out a little bit. 
So they're angled out and your stance is going to be wider. Now notice how I'm going straight down and then standing up. You have to make sure on this move that you still have your hips going straight back. Standing all the way up. Okay, continue going, continue up and down. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and slide in with one foot, heels come together, slide in with the other foot. So see how I'm bringing the heels together but the toes are still pointing out? Let's go like this side to side. Kind of like a ballet move, okay, with that plie squat. Stepping in, heels come together. A little more cardio. Okay, all right, on this next one, let's go ahead and stay out again in the squat and let's pulse for three and then stand up. And stand, squeeze the butt muscle, but again, don't hyperextend the back by pushing the hips forward too much. So you just wanna stand straight up and squeeze the butt, but don't push the hips forward like that, okay? To where you arch, that's what I mean by hyperextending. Oops, pulse for three. Okay, I gotta get the threes down, <laughs> okay. One, two, three, and then stand. Now let's do a last add-on right here. Okay, we're gonna go down on the next one, and we're gonna hold, and we're gonna lift, two, three, four, and then stand up. Okay, so let's do four heel lifts, more tension on the inner thigh, and then stand. That's it. Good job. Let's do a few more. Squeeze tight. Should be feeling those inner thighs. Let's do one more like this. And then we've got one more add-on right here for the grand finale. So come on down and let's pulse with alternating heel lift. Really feeling this one, come on. Eight, six, five, abs tight, four, three, and rest. Okay, everybody, great job. March it out, put your weights down. Give yourself a hand, make sure you go to the lower body stretching that's scheduled next in your workout plan. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.